have healthcare professionals in this room, you have um, developers, designers, all of you speak different languages. The goal is to step outside of your comfort zone. You try something you've not tried before and ask all the stupid questions that you want. We're all here to do something great. We're here to come up with solutions to problems in healthcare. And we know that healthcare has a lot of them. Within healthcare, there is a great opportunity for change and disruption. There are so many problems, we don't have the resources to solve all of them by doing the same thing the way that we've been doing healthcare for the last hundred years. The uniqueness of Hacking Health is that it's all about connecting innovators, entrepreneurs and hackers with health industry experts and clinicians, the people who have been doing health for decades. That way, we work together to transform healthcare. One of the things that we want to do here at ISA and with the conference and with Hacking Health is by really focusing on the patient experience. What do they want? What's going to make their life easier? By working together, we can collaborate and build solutions that are really going to be helpful for consumers. We've spent 2.5 days, we have a working prototype which we are now going to review and deliver back to deadly years to put into production. This should deliver better outcomes to Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander children in Queensland and hopefully across Australia. Each year 400 Australians will die of asthma, 280 of those are preventative. The whole concept of Hacking Health is interdisciplinary experimentation really and very rapid prototyping, it's high energy, it's messy but remarkable.